Hey guys, what's going on? Back to you again, and this is part two of my Hong Kong movie collection. And, uh, once again, uh, not in particular order or anything, just, uh, uh grabbing them out randomly. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, the first one is, uh, uh, one of my favorites. And, uh, I actually saw this movie for the first time like, a couple years ago, and that's, uh, Heart of Dragon, directed by Samuel Hung, stars Jackie and Chan and Samuel Hung. And, um, yeah, it's a very, very good movie, put out by Golden Harvest, uh, and, um, executive producers is uh, Leonard Ho, and, um, yeah, uh, this movie is absolutely fantastic, um, you basically have Jackie as a cop, and there's Sam Mahone, who basically plays his mentally disabled brother, and it's a very good story, and, um, yeah, it's a, um, pretty serious movie, um, it's, it, it, it is funny in some places, but it's like, it's like an action drama, pretty much, and, um, I think that this movie is just, uh, very well done, Sam Hong, Jack Chan, uh, they did, um, phenomenal together, they, they have great chemistry together on screen, um, very good fight sequences, uh, the action sequences are pretty intense and a lot of great stunts, and, everything, and, uh, yeah, just a great, great movie, if you're, um, into, like, Hong Kong, you know, martial arts type movies, and if you haven't seen this, then please go see it, it's a very good one, <clears throat> and this one, I'm sure almost everybody has seen this one by now, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, um, I, I included this, um, in here, um, yes, it was, uh, released in America, but, um, originally, uh, filming-wise, it was not filmed over here, it was filmed overseas, but, uh, yeah, this is the, um, well, this movie, uh, has, uh, two languages, there's, uh, um, Mandarin or Cantonese, however you want to say it, and there's the English dub, and, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, a classic movie, um, directed by Yong Lee, stars, of course, Chai Yun Fat, Michelle Yeoh, and, uh, Zhang Ziyi, and, um, you can't go wrong with this, and the action choreographer is by Yun Wu Ping, and, of course, he's a Hong Kong legend, of course, <clears throat> And this won four Academy Awards, and, uh, yeah, it's just a phenomenal movie. <clears throat> and if you're into any of these people in this movie, um, or Ang Lee, then you definitely like this one. There is a sequel, but the sequel's not as good as this one. Um, uh, the sequel, I mean, you, you, I mean, like, you can feel free to check it out, but... It isn't as good as this one. Uh, I didn't really care for that one as much, but but, but this one is a must-see film. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. <clears throat> and next up is uh, Iron Monkey. This is the first one. There's two of them. I've, I've only seen the first one, and I only own the first one. Um, but yeah, this is um, you know, a classic movie. This came out in 1993, I believe. And uh, yeah, directed by Yun Wu Ping, and stars Donnie Yen. And... Um, uh, you, uh, you wrong Guang, uh, who's another friend, uh, who's another friend of Jackie Chan's, and, um, yeah, it's just a, um, a phenomenal movie, um, lots of great action, it's funny, and, um, yeah, and, um, uh, this was released in theaters in America, but again, English dub, which, there's, um, original Chinese language, and there's the English dub, the English dub's pretty poor, but, uh, I prefer the Chinese language track, um, and this is the, uh, American cut, um, the, the Hong Kong cut is a little bit longer, uh, they, they trimmed it down a little bit for the American version, this is put out by Merrimax, uh, and, um, they did a pretty good job releasing this movie, <clears throat> And I remember seeing this back in high school on Netflix, and, uh, I thought it was pretty good. And, um, yeah, it's a very good, uh, acting, great special effects. It's, uh, kind of like the effects, like, in this movie, where, like, you can tell, like, it's, like, people, um, like, uh, on wires and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Like, I, I know, like, for some people, like, it might be far-fetched, but I think it's pretty cool for its time. Um, it's also produced by, uh, Soy Hark, and... One of the executive producers is Raymond Chow, and she's another legend in Hong Kong. Same with uh, Soy Hark, but yeah. Um, just a very good movie, if you like uh, Hong Kong action 
uh, movies, then uh, this is definitely a good one to check out if you haven't seen it. <clears throat> and next up, we have Jackie Chan's The Myth, and this is another one that a lot of people don't really talk about that much. A lot of people don't like this one, but uh, I think it's pretty good, uh, directed by Stanley Tong once again, and um, it's uh, with uh, Jackie Chan, Kim Hee Seon, uh, Tony Leung Kafai, and um, also has his, uh, Jackie's friend, uh, um, Yu Rong Wong, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he's in this as well, and it's pretty good. Um, it's not Jackie's best, but it's still, uh, worth watching. Uh, this is another one of those that's, uh, trimmed down. This is, uh, the American cut, um, well, the American version of how it's, like, well, the American version, um, when it was released on video here in the States, um, but yeah, the Hong Kong cut is a lot longer, but uh, the good thing is, is that they have uh, deleted scenes as a special features on here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's just from, uh, let's see, 2007. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, you know, Jackie's uh, basically an archaeologist who basically keeps having dreams about a possible past life of him being a Chinese general named Meng Yi, and uh, he's in love with a princess and everything, and uh, it's quite interesting. Um, I mean, like, for some people, like, you know, it might be weird and how, like, it's not your typical Jackie Chan film, but, yeah, some people might, you know, be, like, confused and it might be hard to follow for some, but I recommend giving it a try at least once, and, um, yeah, it's uh, it's very, very good, and the English dub is Jackie's voice, so that's a plus. And, uh, yeah, uh, lots of good action sequences. Um, I know there's, like, a lot of c CG effects, but um, to me it still works uh, pretty well with this movie. Um, I know that some people, like, might say, oh, it's, like, so cheesy and all that stuff. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I don't get the hate on it so much. I really don't, but... Um, that's just me, though. And Jackie Chan is also one of the executive producers. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, very, very good. And uh, definitely check it out. <clears throat> and next one is another uh, popular Hong Kong film. And this is called The Killer, directed by John Woo, starring Chai Yun Fat, um, Danny Lee, uh, Sally Ye, and Chu Kong. Um, and it's also produced by Soy Hark. And, uh, yeah, just uh, a phenomenal movie. Um, like an action drama is pretty much what it is. Um, you basically got this uh, hitman played by Chun Yun Fat who basically gets double crossed by his boss and everything. It's a pretty crazy movie. Um, this is a two disc ultimate edition uh, put up by Dragon Dynasty, owned by the Weinstein Company. Uh, they make some pretty good DVDs, even though. Um, you know about Harvey Weinstein, he's a scumbag, uh, but, um, the Dragon Dynasty editions of these movies are pretty sweet, uh, they're in high definition, and, uh, this particular one came out in 2010, um, and, uh, yeah, this one came out in 89, and, uh, there is talks about a remake of this, uh, John Woo plans on doing, uh, an American reboot of this, and it'll be interesting to see what, um, happens with that, uh, there was supposed to be, um, uh, the, the main star was, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, but she ended up dropping out of the project, unfortunately, but, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this, uh, re uh, the remake of this one, um, comes out, um, but yeah, uh, it's also pretty, pretty violent, so if you're not into violent type stuff, then I wouldn't recommend watching it, but if you like Tarantino, you know, violent craziness, then this is definitely a good one to watch, and, uh, yeah, check it out, classic. And then, uh, we have, uh, Jackie Chan and the Shinjuku Incident. Um, Shinjuku Incident is a great film. Uh, a lot of people might not know about it, but it's a great film from 2009. There's a review of this on the channel. Uh, most of these films I've reviewed, uh, the ones I've showed you. And, uh, yeah, uh, Jackie Chan is in it. Um, Daniel Wu is also in it. He's one of Jackie's friends. And, uh... Yeah, it's just a great film, very uh, serious crime drama. Um, you know, basically, it's uh, Jackie, uh, who basically plays a guy named Steelhead, and his wife, uh, well, well, excuse me, not wife, uh, fiance, ends up going to Japan, and she never comes back, so he ends up going to Japan to try to find her. 
And then, um, basically what happens is, is that he basically is a, an illegal Chinese immigrant in Shinjuku, Japan. And then, um, there's also, um, you know, problems in Japan with the Yakuza, the Japanese Mafia. And, uh, they basically threaten his life and his, and his, uh, friends and family's life. And then basically, like, he ends up, uh, being a part of them and everything like that. And it's, uh, it's a pretty intense, uh, pretty crazy movie. Now you typical Jackie Chan film. Um, some people say it's like Scarface, but I don't really think it is because um, Jackie Chan's character Steelhead and Tony Montana, aka Scarface, are completely two different characters, but that's just me. Like, if you think it's like Scarface, then that's totally fine, but I disagree with you. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, not trying to start any arguments or anything, I'm just saying my opinion. But, um, yeah, and very surprising ending. I didn't see that ending coming, but if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I'm not going to ruin it, just in case you haven't seen it. Um, but, yeah, uh, definitely check it out. Um, it's not on Blu-ray here in America, which sucks, but there is an all-region uh, Blu-ray out there somewhere that I might pick up, but we'll see. Um, yeah, but definitely check out Shinjuku Incident. Very good. <clears throat> and then we have... Jackie Chan's Gorgeous, and this one's from 1999, and uh, this is put out by Golden Harvest and TriStar Home Video, Columbia TriStar Home Video, and this is, again, um, uh, the uh, trimmed version uh, for the American release version on home video and stuff like that. Uh, the original version's like two hours long or something. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the English dub's pretty poor, it's not Jackie's voice, unfortunately, but the Chinese version is, uh, is still good, I prefer watching it in Chinese, and, um, yeah, it's just a great film, Jackie's a millionaire, and this girl, um, who just broke up with her boyfriend because she found out he was gay, um, she ends up falling in love with him, and, and everything like that, it's a pretty good movie, um, very funny, uh, lots of fun, um, yeah, Jackie... Uh, is in this. Uh, it's also produced by Jackie himself and v Vincent um, Koch, I think it's how you say his name. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a it's just a very very good movie. And uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. This is pretty hard to find, so if you find it for a decent price, I suggest you pick it up because it's worth quite a lot now. And then uh, let's see what else what do we have here. Uh, 1911 Revolution, this is Jackie Chan's 100th film, his first war film, and this is another one of his, uh, more serious works, um, and it's just, uh, an amazing film, uh, based on a true story also, and also forgot to mention that, um, Shinjuku Incidents based on a true story, and, um, uh, this one I've done a review on also, so if you want to check it out, then feel free to. Um, yeah, this is a great, great movie um, about the Chinese War, and yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, and also his son, uh, J.C. Chan, is also in this too, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, the only thing that, um, I didn't like is that it's not Jackie's voice in the English dub, and also it doesn't sound like it's Jackie's voice for, for the English dub, but, I mean, no, excuse me, for the, the original Cantonese language for some reason, but, uh, it's still a pretty good movie. Um, if you like, if you like, uh, war movies, or if you like Jackie Chan, then, uh, this is definitely a good one to watch. And then, let's see, what else do we got here? And then, we have, uh, Who Am I? Uh, almost every Jackie Chan fan has to have seen this, or has this by now. Um, this is great, directed by Jackie Chan and Benny Chan, his friend. And, uh, yeah, it's just a classic movie about a cop who loses his memory, suffers from amnesia, tries to figure out who he is. Uh, very similar to the original, uh, Born Identity uh, the original Bourne movie, um, it's very similar, and, uh, but th this was made before the Bourne trilogy began, but, yeah, it's just amazing, uh, produced by, um, well, the, yeah, produced by Barbie Tong, and, um, the executive producer is, uh, Leonard Ho, and, uh, it's also put out by Golden Harvest and everything, and, uh, yeah, it's, a uh, it's a rare and out-of-print movie, but, uh, if you find it for a good price, then I recommend you pick it up, it's worth a lot. And, uh, I went through hell and back trying to find this, but, uh, I mentioned that in my review of this, so if you haven't seen it, then definitely check it out if you're interested. <clears throat> 
And then we have Crime Story. Now, this one I really, really like. Uh, this is the Dragon Dynasty edition. Um, and this is the best edition there is. I have a double feature with uh, Crime Story and the Protector on one disc uh, put out by Shout Factory. But uh, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of that and then just replace it with the Blu-ray because the Blu-ray has a Chinese track. Um, the double feature DVD only has uh, the English dub. That's why I bought this because this one has the Chinese and English dubbing. Um, but yeah, this is put out by uh, the Weinstein Company and Dragon Dynasty. This is number 17. Um, yeah, they've put out a lot of DVDs. And uh, this one's actually really rare to find, too. I bought this off eBay uh, last year. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a very good one, directed by Kirk Wong. And it's another one that's put out by Golden Harvest, stars Jackie Chan and Kent Chan. And, uh, yeah, this one is from 93, and, um, it's also another one that's based on a true story. And he has some good special features on here, deleted scenes, trailer gallery, uh, commentary, and with the director and Hong Kong cinema expert Bay Logan, who's a, uh, who's a legend in Hong Kong, a uh, very cool guy. And, um, yeah, it's a very serious movie, like, uh, Shinjuku Incident. And stuff like that. So if you like serious, you know, action drama, then this is definitely a good one to check out. <clears throat> and then we get to another one that's serious, and that's Dragon Blade. Dragon Blade, which is another one that a lot of people don't like, but I personally love it. Um, this is the American version, the American cut version. There's a Hong Kong cut that's longer, but I prefer the American version. Um, I just felt like that it just went to the score, went to the story a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, it's another, it's another good serious one with uh, Jackie Chan, John Cusack, and Adrian Brody. A uh, very good serious one, um, directed by Daniel Lee. And um, yeah, so great action sequences and fight scenes. Um, you noticed uh, another one that's uh, sort of like 1911. This is uh, very serious only. This one, well, this one's also based on a true story too, but it's like a lot different compared to the other ones that he's done that's uh, based on a true story and all that. But um, yeah, and this is available on Blu ray. I'll have to pick up the Blu ray sometime. Same with, um, with what you might call it. Um, the killer I want to get on Blu-ray, and, uh, what's it called? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I'll probably want to get on Blu-ray, too. And, um, yeah, just a great, great film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Then we get to another classic. This is from 93, I believe, and, uh, this is City Hunter. Very cartoony, uh, very good one. I also have this with a double feature with, uh, Battle Creek Brawl, uh, which I have. I've shown that in in uh, another video, uh, a couple of videos actually, but uh, if you've seen that, then you know I have that, but I'm just showing you this one. And uh, yeah, directed by Wong Jing, another legend of Hong Kong, uh, directed, and it's also with uh, Richard Norton, Gary Daniels, and uh, of course they're, you know, legends in the game also, and it's uh, executive producers are Raymond Chow and Leonard Ho, um, oh, Leonard Ho, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, it's just a very funny movie, very strange, um, not his best, but it's still very good. Jackie's not really a big fan of it, but I rather like it. And, uh, yeah. And then another one that a lot of people probably don't know about is Thunderbolt, uh, another good one. Um, he's basically, Jackie's basically, like, a junkyard mechanic who works with police to try to stop these, uh, street racers and everything. It's very good, um... This uh, a lot of good action, great stunts, everything uh, put out by Golden Harvest, uh, directed by Gordon Chan and stars um, Jackie Chan, um, Anita Yun, and uh, yeah, just a uh, great, great movie. And originally I had a bootleg of this, um, but it was only, it said it had the English and Chinese, uh, and I tried putting on Chinese, uh, the old version I had, and it didn't work, it just was English, so this one has the English and Chinese, and this one actually goes for a lot now, the other one was a 2017, like, fake bootleg copy or something, but, uh, yeah, I ended up getting rid of that and replaced it with this. I bought it used and I got it like new and it looks like no one even watched this, so that's a plus for me. 
And then we have Rumble in the Bronx. Uh, of course, almost everyone's seen this one um, by now. But if you haven't, then then you need to get yourself looked at or something because this is a, a freaking phenomenal movie. Um, of course, Jackie and Adam Wee on uh, Bill Tong plays his Uncle Bill, and it's uh, one of the first films that uh, that he started off with in America. Um, well, the, the, he, he did a few American produ productions before this one. Uh, well, this isn't technically an American production, but it was released in, in America. But, yeah, this is uh, uh, this was filmed over in Canada. Uh, it takes place in the Bronx, New York, but you can tell it wasn't filmed in New York because of, you know, all the stuff that's in there. Uh, if you see it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. Um, and this is the American version of the film. Hong Kong cut is a lot longer, um, which I've seen the Hong Kong cut on TV, and it's pretty good, actually, and, um, uh, yeah, it's put out by Golden Harvest, and, uh, this one came out on Blu-ray five years ago, so five years old, uh, this year is how old this Blu-ray is, as well as Jackie Chan's first strike, which I don't have, but I'm definitely, um, trying to get my hands on that eventually, but, yeah, um, if you like Jackie Chan, and if you haven't seen this, then go see it. <laughs> and then this is another one that um, I grew up with. That's Mr. Nice Guy. This is the new release version of it on Blu-ray. For the first time, came out last year, and uh, it includes the American version and the Hong Kong cut. That's a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, uh, the American version I have uh, individually on DVD. Um, directed by Samuel Hong, stars Jackie Chan, Richard Norton, Mickey Lee, who plays his girlfriend in the film, Gabrielle Fitzpatrick, and, um, yeah, it's just a, a phenomenal movie, very funny, um, you know, just uh, an amazing film, uh, the original, um, Hong Kong cut is put out by Golden Harvest, and the American version is released by New Line Cinema, uh, same with this film, uh, this one's here in America, released by New Line Cinema, and the Hong Kong cut is put out by Golden Harvest, and, uh, yeah, so, um, this includes both versions of the film, which is nice, and, uh, I'll show you what the disc looks like, and the picture quality is phenomenal, same with, uh, the picture quality for this, it looks like it was just made yesterday, and same with this, like, Samuel Hung did an amazing job with the transfer on this Blu-ray, um, like, he basically blew the roof off. It's in 4K, and uh, it looks like it was just made yesterday, and it's it's just amazing. So, if you haven't seen it, um, definitely pick it up. If you haven't, uh, if, if you've seen the movie before and you don't own it, I recommend buying the Blu-ray. It's much better than the DVD, but um, that's just my opinion. And I prefer the Hong Kong cut, too, uh, but that's just me. And then, last but not least, is uh, Bleeding Steel. One of Jackie's uh, newer films, and this is a science fiction uh, action film, and it's uh, pretty good, actually. Um, and uh, in this one, like, you know, he's a cop once again, and uh, it's just uh, amazing. It's an amazing movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, you don't really see him do sci-fi that often. This is, like, his first, like, sci-fi type movie, and he did pretty good in this. Uh, it's not one of his best, but it's still pretty good, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, lots of great action, like, ridiculous stunts, everything, just, uh, amazing. If you haven't seen it, please go see it, or rent it or something. It's, uh, worth checking out. <clears throat> Yeah, so that is basically it for my Hong Kong movie collection part number two. And stick around for part number three, which will be coming up in the future. I don't know when. Um, but, uh, yeah, but when I get more stuff, then I'll be doing more videos for you guys. So be on the lookout for that, uh, whenever that may be. It might be a long time. Um, so I apologize if you guys, you know, are waiting so long. But, you know, it's the way it is, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching once again, I'll see you guys in the next one.